Italy faces the risk of a major tsunami from an unstable underwater volcano, as waves as high as 30 meters can hit the coastline. Europe's largest active volcano is located about 175 kilometers, 109 miles, south of Naples. At about 3,000 meters high, 70 kilometers, 43 miles, long and 30 kilometers, 19 miles, wide, it dwarfs Mount Etna, but is invisible to the eye because it is so far underwater. Marsili, named after Luigi Ferdinando Marsili. Italian geologist who discovered it almost a hundred years ago, lies 450 meters below the surface of the water. Its volcanic activity is believed to have begun less than 200,000 years ago, and is listed as one of the most dangerous underwater volcanoes in the Tyrrhenian Sea, along with Magnagi, Vavilof and Palinuro. Volcanologists fear the relatively fragile walled structure, composed of low density and unstable rock, fed by the shallow magma chamber below. In 2010, Italian experts announced that it could erupt at any time, with potentially catastrophic effects. Recent models suggest the eruption and associated landslides could trigger a large tsunami, with waves as high as 30 meters potentially hitting the coasts of Calabria and Sicily. Marsili has been studied since 2005, with research vessels detecting considerable instability, and belongs to the volcanic arc of the Aeolian Islands, a chain of volcanoes that forms on a subducting plate, off the northern coast of Sicily and the western coast of southern Italy. According to the BBC, for every one island seen, ten more volcanoes lurk beneath the surface, since Marsili's formation about a million years ago, it is believed to have amassed about 80 eruption cones, in addition to other openings that could also spit lava. According to a 2013 report in Gondwana Research, Marsili's last eruption occurred several thousand years ago. Guido Ventura, a volcanologist at Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, told the BBC that the lava and ash produced from future eruptions would likely be absorbed by the water above and were unlikely to reach land or harm local residents. However, he warns, the danger is not an eruption but a possible underwater landslide. Previous seismic motions or the eruption itself can trigger the collapse of weakened rock.